Okay, I am ready. I am so ready for this. <sighs> What kind of beast do you want me to tame? Only the most unstoppable creature on earth. The fierce on the Cho Cho. You look like a little marshmallow rain cloud. Oh, so adorable. So that's how you treat emotional scars. In other news, a strange creature has been spotted near a graveyard cemetery. Eyewitnesses said it was enormous and had glowing eyes all over its body. Authorities believe it was a sick animal and should be treated with caution. And now for the weather. Okay. Good night, kid. Good night, Mrs. Nasida. Good night, mom. Good night, mom. Okay. Are you guys ready? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Let's do this. <gasps> oh no, we got caught. Oh no. Okay, everyone's is really still okay. Everything's okay. 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 Mhm. Mm well, mom, I'm glad you decided to tag a lot. Well, I'm still kind of mad at me, huh? Mm. Wanna watch Bellows with my bat? Now you're talking. All I'm saying is you have become an expert. Hmm? You are more than capable of teaching glyph classes in Hexide. That could be cool, but given my track record, I will probably end up making people's lives worse. <sighs> okay. Let's do this, kids. Um, mom? Who are you talking to? Hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. <gasps> um. Um. What is this? This is an intervention, Luz. We need to talk about how you make everyone's lives better. <laughs> you helped me become a better person. You encouraged me to be strong. You were there when I was feeling down. <laughs> you literally saved my life. And you protected me even when you only knew me for a few hours. You are truly the light of our lives. What? But I... They are there. I know it's a lot to take in, Miha. Huh? But, but if you ask me... You have a pretty good track record there. <laughs> mm, that is so cute. You gotta admit, you're kinda awesome. Me? Mm. Please, I'm begging you. Oh, don't cry. Sorry. It's not my area of expertise, so I can't really do anything about it. Oh well. King! Are we playing the Ahos game or what? You two, come on! Stop being sad already! We have to gather everyone around! <laughs> Collector, I have a better game for you. It's called... Hunt the Witch Hunter. Oh, sounds ironic. Elaborate. Bellows. Philip, the human who threw you down the pit. He fled to the human realm. How about we get the portal working again and hunt him like a wild beast? What do you say? Hmm. Now that is a clear instruction. Sure, I am game. King, the Alhaz game will have to wait. I need a bit of your blood. Hmm? Psst, 
Amity, what were you thinking? You're gonna doom the whole human realm, and it's better this way. But we still have loved ones here. We don't have any in the human realm. Not anymore. Begin, begin. Destroy the portal once we get through. Amity? Is it what she would have wanted? I wish I could ask her. I wish I could. over with I've never felt so conflicted in my entire life this costume is nice it's just why dress up as your mom I mean why Odalia it says here people dress up as horrible and evil entities on Halloween so so you know Oh, that's not necessary. We usually dress up as anyone or anything we like. Oh. Good. I couldn't even look into the mirror. Better? Yes! Mm -hmm. Huh? Who are you? I am the previous hunter. Would you look at that nigga? So, Luz, what do you think of the movie? Well, I think it's... It's... The worst live-action mimic of all time. I know. The tone is way off. They completely changed Oliver's personality. The villain is boring, cliché, and why is he a cowboy? And Hecate only makes a 5 second cameo. Why? Our days are ruined. What do you guys think? Um, well, the popcorn is good. I um, slept through the movie, so... Well, I kinda like the movie. I, I think it's great. Yeah. Mm. Hey, that Philip guy was such a big up. I know, right? You'd be living in the 1600s for 400 years. <sighs> he was totally out of touch. Yeah. Well, on the bright side, it's good to know that humanity has changed so much. Bigots like Bellows don't exist in the human realm anymore. Um. Hmm. Right? Well. Sexism? Racism? Homophobic? I, I apologize on behalf of our people. <laughs> what is all of this? It's not boiling, right? Nope, this is salt water. It's totally safe. Trust me. Hey, you're right. Look, a floating dock. Let's swim over there and... Hmm? <gasps> I have never swam before. Yep, I should have thought of that. Welcome, welcome. The collector is expecting all of you. <laughs> well, except you, Amity. You should come with me, dear. You're embarrassing yourself joining those people. <laughs> Listen here, Odalia. It's okay, let me handle this. I'll destroy her. With reason and logic. Wait, what? Odalia just won't listen. Nah, it'll work.
My mom gives pet names to her stuff. Oh. Ouch, ouch, stop it! You're not dating this hunter guy, Amira. You don't get to choose your future husband. But, but mom... You can't do this to me, mom. In fact, I already set you up with someone I approve of. You will be marrying him once you're old enough. But... Who did you set me up with? Why, the most famous nobleman in this royal family, of course. The Golden Guard. Wait until the wedding day. That's funnier. Good point. I'm back with the groceries. Hi. Thank you for your help, Amiri. Oh, it's nothing really. You're a lifesaver. Okay, pass me the sorfito. I need to. Oh no! I forgot to buy sorfito. Oh, that's far. I can't believe it. Why did I not write it down? I'm, I, I'm sorry. I thought I would remember. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Please, I. Please don't be upset. I'm not mad, Mittens. After all, there's mistakes you've made. <sighs> I can't really feel anything. I don't want to punish you, dear. But rules are rules. <laughs> hey. Don't worry. No one is upset. You've been very helpful, Amity. Why would I be mad at you for small things like that? <sighs> Besides, everyone makes mistakes. You should totally see what Luz did with the blender. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Mrs. Nsida, I hope you won't mind, but can I... <laughs> hmm? It's complicated. I'll explain later. Yeah, things are kinda hectic, but Louis and I will manage. <laughs> we'll make it to the dinner tomorrow, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Of course, me? Oh, I'm working on a project. Uh Oh shoot! <sighs> I gotta go, Dad. The kitchen faucet is broken. What do you mean you got this, Dad? Hello? Huh? Yo, Dad! I can handle it myself. I know, sweetie. <laughs> Just, you two already have your hands full. Now you have one less thing to worry about. It's done. I gave it a little upgrade too. What do you think? Well, I'll be going now. Let me know if you need anything else. <laughs> you know, Dad. I'm glad to have you here. Don't mention it. No, I mean... Hmm? Hmm? I'm glad I have you here in my life. <laughs> That's good to know. Alright, gotta go. Say hi to Luz for me. See you, Mittens. See you, Dad. Everything. <sighs> it's so crazy right now. And I have no idea what my future holds. <laughs> but huh? <laughs> oh. It would be so cool if you were in it.
the more glyphs in a comb booth, the bigger the eye structure becomes. And then, uh, uh, when you activate the glyph picture, the shape of the eye structure in your head, you should start with something simple. With a big ice cube. Good morning, Luz. <laughs> oh, 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 hey, Amity. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, am I interrupting something? No, no. This is getting interesting. Hmm? Oh, what's wrong? It's... Luz. What can I do to cheer you up? Um... <laughs> well... There's one thing... But... You are already doing it. <laughs> you make me happy by existing, Amity. And in terms of existing... You're doing it like a super... You're doing like... Super great. <laughs> so... Keep up the good work. Come on, Lou, stop it. I was supposed to be the one cheering you up. Well, I kind of made you worry by being sad, didn't I? So, yeah, yeah, come on, silly. How about some ice cream? <laughs> Sounds lovely. Why, yes. <laughs> the most normal Lou's and I'm in a conversation. Now that's my you. It can be so hot here in the human realm. Ugh. Hmm? <sighs> Uh, what's happening to me? You're getting car sick. Upset. Stomach. Uh. Oh no, must be something in the hot dog. I think you're getting better from the flu. <laughs> I'm glad you're all good now. <laughs> I'm sorry you have to go through all this. Just so you can spend time with me on earth. Hmm? Nah, it's nothing really. You know, you survived boiling aisles. Pretty sure I can handle the human realm. <laughs> I mean, there are no fairies here trying to steal your skin, at least. <laughs> oh, the equivalent here would be the mosquitoes. <laughs> I hope they don't like the taste of witch blood. <laughs> um. <laughs> They are worse than fairies. <laughs> there, there, there. <laughs> Anything? Mm. I've got no bars. Same. How are we supposed to get a tow truck now? Can I take a look uh, at your car, Mrs. Nasita? Maybe I can fix it. Um, yeah, of course. <laughs> A machines probably work very differently in your world though, so don't worry if you can't... Uh, yeah, the radiator is clogged. That's why the engine overheated. Okay, let's see if I can unclog it. Mm, and... Yes, it works! I... She's a keeper. But, but how? How do you know so much about human machines? Well... Daddy, read me a story! No, no, sweetie. Daddy is studying engineering. I just bought these human books from the old lady. They have such inspiring machine designs. Mm hmm? Hmm? Okay, let's see. Daddy, what's a fuel pump? Oh, you see... Humans don't use magic to power their machines. Instead, they use ancient animal corpses. Now, using heat, they... Mm -hmm. Another day, another stranger to help Azura thought to herself. I don't have much time, said the old man in dirty robe. I have to deliver this potion to the hidden. Can we skip this part? Uh, uh, what's wrong? This is the part where Azura was tricked by Aloxius to find the hidden village for the Chaos King. Mm -hmm. 
As you realize she made a mistake and this mistake costs everyone their homes. I just don't it's alright, let's skip it. Thanks. If it makes you feel any better, I wouldn't blame Azura for that. It was fate that Azura was the one being asked. If she failed, Aloxius would just trick another adventure anyway. It wasn't her fault. <laughs> it was her fault. She would have seen through his trick. If she wasn't so stupid. Eh. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Luz. <laughs> she wasn't stupid, Luz. She sees the good in people. Yes, Aloxius took advantage of her kindness. But it was the same kindness that saved Hecate and many others. You're not responsible for someone else's evilness, Luz. Remember that. I thought we were talking about Azura. Something bothering you, right? I'm sorry, I should have... Shh. It's okay. You tell me when you're comfortable with it. Alright? Alright. Like this? Yes. Now... Keep it closed for 5 to 10 minutes and the abomination should be done. Jeez, abominations are more complicated than I thought. It really looked much easier when you did it. <laughs> I just hope I'm not gonna mess it up at school, cuz... Hmm? Luz, I'm sorry, but please be quiet for a moment. Uh, Minnie, are you okay? Yes, just... Give me five minutes, okay? What, what is happening? Why didn't she tell me she's tired? Uh, what should I do? Should I do something? I don't want to wake her up. It's my fault. Now she fell asleep. What is that weird feeling in my stomach? But about the abomination? Her neck is gonna hurt like that. I'm feeling really weird. Drink? Did I drink some milk? Uh, she smells good though. Wait, what? The the thing that was it. Thanks for your interest in our school, but we don't seem to have your birth certificate. Also, you said Mrs. Nasida was your legal guardian, mm -hmm. but you couldn't provide any documents. <sighs> <sighs> so I'm sorry. We can't approve your. <gasps> <laughs> the Almighty has a plan for this individual. You must not get in the way of. <gasps> it's not like that. He totally thought you were an Almighty being, but I am. <gasps> oh, bug! Huh? Just don't stare at where their face would be, and you'll be fine. On the other hand, <laughs> fairies are much more terrifying. They'll steal your skin while you're sleeping. <gasps> Don't forget to close your window at night if you want to save your own skin. <laughs> save your own skin. Good one. I know, right? <laughs> Ugh, now there's two of them. <laughs> Mel 
milkshake for two lovebirds. Huh? <laughs> Don't forget the straws. Um. Um. This is sweet, but can we not do that? Like, we're not 16 anymore. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize that you were. Well, a coward. Mm hmm. <gasps> Give me the dang straw. Hmm. <laughs> New earring, huh? It suits you. Thanks, it's basic. I think yours are cooler, huh? Maybe I should shape shift myself a pair of those. Nah, no need. Here, you can have mine. Huh? In the boiling aisles, when couples want to further commit to their relationship, <laughs> they exchange jewelry. Mm -hmm. So, what you just did is like demon realm equivalent of uh, a proposal. <gasps> um. Illusion magic can be very powerful. <sighs> For example, any illusionist can disguise themselves as a different person. Seeing through it may prove difficult, but these are several things that can tip us off. Body language, facial expression, speaking style. Even if the disguise looks perfect, imitating someone's behavior is a total different story. Trust your gut if you feel something different about a person. Be it their body language, facial expression, or way of speaking. So? Lose? Huh? You think you can spot an imposter if you see one? Hmm? Jeez, I don't know, Gus. <laughs> um, or should I say... Amity? Oh. <laughs> Very nice. Impressive, even. What? I told you she would have. What? No, that's cheating. No way. I told you she would have. She wouldn't fall for it. Here you go! <laughs> I'll put you in Bella's shoes! Think you're gonna do a better job than he did? Well, actually, yeah, I'm going to. Legalize wild magic and lift all restrictions on multitask. Reach out to the human realm and maintain peace between two species. Treat Hunter with care and respect. <laughs> huh? Form an elected parliament and step down as a monarch. Turn myself in for the crimes I've committed. Knit sweaters for orphanages while serving the time. 
When I said shoes, I didn't mean goody two shoes. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, good to see fans were outside of the target demographic. Your books changed your lives, Miss Featherwild. <laughs> In fact, all thanks to Azura, I found the love of my life who... Okay, don't tell anyone, but... She's a witch from another realm. <laughs> She's also a big fan of yours and... Oh, a fellow witch from Vi! What? <laughs> I am too a witch, silly. I moved to the human realm after Bella's banned wild magic. You were a witch this whole time? Wait, how did you come here? <laughs> Using my own portal door, of course. You had a portal door this whole time? Yeah, I dug it up in some carver's backyard. Along with a research paper written by some Philip guy called How to Befriend a Collector in Five Simple Steps. Okay. Huh. You had the solution to all our problems this whole time? Luz, breathe. I brought you cold medicine. Oh, okay. Just put it down somewhere. Hmm? <laughs> no, <laughs> don't come too close. Emily? Don't worry, you're not gonna infect me. I... <laughs> no, it's just... <laughs> What? I just don't want you to see me like this. It's so embarrassing. Aww, Amity. Well, if it makes you feel better, one time I got to be an MC for a school event. But I forgot my cue cards. <laughs> Having no idea what to say, I awkwardly sang the Good Witch Azura theme song for two minutes. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. I was booed off stage. <laughs> okay, maybe it was embarrassing, but I adore your embarrassing side. Too. Well, same here. Oh. <laughs> so, I oh, what is she doing? Oh my gosh, she's so cringe. Ugh. Get up the stage. <laughs> she doesn't even go here. Would you look at that nigga? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Well, well, well. Lose a human. You think you can get rid of me? Not if I crush your soul first. I'll take away all your friends. I'll make your life a living nightmare And you will suffer every second of your remaining Huh? Why do I feel uneasy all of a sudden? <gasps> Mia has been through a lot she has just started to recover. 
Leave her alone. And let us talk it out. Do I make myself clear? Uh huh, uh huh. And then nothing bad happens in watching and dreaming. I'm back with the groceries. Hi, thank you for your help, Amelie. Oh, it's nothing really. You're a lifesaver. Okay, pass me the sorfito. I need to. Oh no! I forgot to buy sorfito. Oh, that's fa. I can't believe it. Why did I not write it down? I'm. I I'm sorry. I thought I would remember. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Please, I. Please don't be upset. I'm not mad, Mittens. After all, there's mistakes you've made. <sighs> I can't really feel anything. I don't want to punish you, dear. But rules are rules. <laughs> hey, don't worry. No one is upset. You've been very helpful, Amity. Why would I be mad at you for small things like that? <sighs> Besides, everyone makes mistakes. You should totally see what Luz did with the blender. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Mrs. Nsida, I hope you won't mind, but can I... <laughs> hmm? It's complicated. I'll explain later. Oh no, you're not leaking that. <laughs> really? You're mad at me for that? And scoop. Look, I might not be the best mom in the world, but I promise I'll never hurt you. I'll never make you feel worthless. <laughs> I'll teach you good morals and at the same time, I let you make important decisions on your own. And most importantly, I'll always be there when you need me. Did you get that? <laughs> really? You got nothing? <laughs> You're gonna be the best mom ever. You're gonna be the best mom. <laughs> You'll be, you'll be the best mama too. So, Luz, what do you think of the movie? Well, I think it's, it's the worst live action remake of all time. I know, the tone is way off. They completely changed Oliver's personality. Neverland's boring, cliche, and why is he a cowboy? And Hecate only makes a five second cameo. Why? Our oh, days are ruined. What do you guys think? Um, well, the popcorn is good. I am um, slept through the movie, so. Well, I kinda like the movie. Wait, I think it's great. Yeah. Mm. Shh. You're not dating this hunter guy, Amira. You don't get to choose your future husband. But, but mom... You can't do this to me, mom. In fact, I already set you up with someone I approve of. You will be marrying him once you're old enough. But... Who did you set me up with? Why, the most famous nobleman in this royal family, of course. The Golden Guard. Wait until the wedding day. That's funnier. Good point. Please. I'm begging you. Oh, don't cry. Sorry. It's not my area of expertise. So. I can't really do anything about it. Oh, well. 
King! Are we playing the Alhas game or what? You two, come on! Stop being sad already! We have to gather everyone around! <laughs> Collector, I have a better game for you. It's called Hunt the Witch Hunter. Oh, sounds ironic. Elaborate. Bellows, Philip, the human who threw you down the pit. He fled to the human realm. How about we get the portal working again and hunt him like a wild beast? What do you say? Hmm. Now that is a clear instruction. Sure, I am game. King, the Alhas game will have to wait. I need a bit of your blood. Hmm? Psst, Amity, what were you thinking? You're gonna doom the whole human realm, and it's better this way. But we still have loved ones here. We don't have any in the human realm. Not anymore. Let the game begin! <sighs> Destroy the portal once we get through. Amity? Is it what she would have wanted? I wish I could. Huh? So precise. You're truly talented. You still lack experience, though. As much as a hack your father is. It'll take years for you to reach his level. Mm hmm. So keep up the good work. <sighs> Is there anything I'm better than my dad at? Well, clearly you have a better taste in love interests. <laughs> in your face! <laughs> We're back. We need to contact everyone SAP. Agreed. Hey, Pastagram still works. R.I.P. sister. They... They thought we were dead. Well, how are you going to reply? <laughs> it's cold down here. Luz, I can't believe it. I almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> You've gotten so tall. Unusually tall, by the way. Do humans grow faster than witches? Hmm. Maybe time passes differently in the human realm. Makes sense. Oh, let me write that down. Huh? Um. Clues! Uh, I lost again! I wanna break things! No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Breaking things is bad. But if you really need to. Break something small. Fine! What did you break? Meh! <laughs> Just some atoms! Hunter! Let's confront Bellows. I am ready. Hunter! It's time to face the Collector. Let's do this. Hunter! Meet my parrot. Come back here, you. L let her schedule, maybe. Finally, some downtime. He had been covering around you for days. That's gonna take him some time. I mean, where can you find a dodo these days? I got your dodo. Turns out a bunch of them still exist in the Amazon rainforest. Here you go. Now your turn. <coughs> I challenge you to find enough. Please. 
face. Just give me a break. You keep trying to get my attention non-stop and... <sighs> it's not that I don't want to hang out with you. But you've been so... Clingy. It makes me feel Ooh. so... Tired. Sorry, I... Everyone else is busy rebuilding the boiling aisles and... I don't have many people to play with. After being trapped for so long, I just... I hate being alone. I, I didn't mean to upset you. Sorry, I should have known. We are friends and I love hanging out with you. But friends also acknowledge each other's personal space. Like, if you're playing video games, and I keep insisting on playing Go Fish with you, yeah, that would be annoying. Well, sorry for being clingy. I'm sorry for shouting on you. And also for sending you on a wild doo-doo chase. How about Amit and I take you to the amusement park this weekend? <laughs> Under the condition that you sneak us all in. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Pinky swear. Pinky swear. Ouch, ouch, ouch. What are we looking for? People said strange sounds have been coming from the shack. I wonder if it was a portal reactivating. Or it was something else. Mm -hmm. What is it? Wait, don't look up. Why? It's a common horror movie trope. Something will attack us once we look up. Let's just... Damn, she's good. Well, before they come back, I'll be the adult of this house. Sure, it can't be that hard. <laughs> Wait, I need to pay for the water? Ugh, eggs. I knew I forgot something. Ugh. I just want my mom's towed car back. No, I don't want her license plate number. Oh, shit. Ugh. <laughs> ah. I do need a bit of help. Thank you. Well, look at that. <laughs> oh, this video isn't weird though. Oh, hey! Aw, what are you doing by yourself? Did those summer camp can sell you up? And what's with your clothes? Ugh. Ugh, I thought you were your other girl thing. You really need to work on your fashion sense. This girl used to have a crush on me. Can you believe that? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I was totally a little girl. Just not a... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you're so mean, girl. Um, hey, Luz. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. No, not a problem. <laughs> oh, I shook them. <laughs> oh, what just ha happened? You just got served, girl. So I made a promise 
that I'll stay in Earth once I get back. Um, and never set foot in the boiling aisles again. <laughs> like that's gonna happen. Pretty sure your mom hasn't seen the whole picture yet. If she knows how much this place means to you, she'll definitely change her mind. Or, you could just sneak into the aisles from time to time when your mom is not looking. <laughs> yeah, you're a rebel. Act like one. Ida, let's lose. Worst case scenario. King and I can move to the human realm to be closer to you. Really? Yeah. I mean, how hard could it be? I am basically a human expert at this point. No, you're really not. You had to expose me like that, huh? I'm gonna rule the human realm with an iron fist. <laughs> you mean rule with your kidneys, right? Oh no, belly rubs. I am not cute. <laughs> yeah, we can do this. <sighs> well, think of something. Mm. <laughs> no matter what happens, <sighs> we'll stay together. Mm. I promise. Oh, Hecate, since we're in a relationship now, I've been thinking, maybe I should start talking to your second face, huh? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't feel right to just ignore her, you know? I um, don't think that's a good idea. You may find her creepy. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, come on. I fight horrible monsters daily. I'm not easily scared. Okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. I can feel everything when you kiss the other face. I'm not talking to her again. Yeah, told ya. Don't get me wrong. Hmm? I am not gonna get between you and my daughter, but if you ask me, I think I'm gonna ace totally out of your league. Aww. I know, I know, Emily is cool and classy, and I'm just a weirdo um, who grew up with no friends and only played with strange animals. And had hobbies that people considered weird. <laughs> but I, I swear, I'll make her happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Weird question. Were you all oblivious to Amity's crush? She kissed me on the cheek and blushes all the time around me and I couldn't tell. Oh! <gasps> I grant you to my blessings wholeheartedly. Well, that was easy. Well, that was easy. <laughs> hey, I brought you dinner. You can eat stuffing, correct? Yeah, I'm not really hungry though. You wanna talk? I'm a good listener. I, I was just thinking. I came to Boiling Isles looking for adventure, but now, I just want everything to be normal. I want to see my mom. I want to spend time with my found family, my new friends, and hang out with you. I know, it's cheesy, but I wish we, we can have a romantic dinner together. I want to travel with you and see the sights. And maybe a sleepover too. 
so we can talk about random stuff all night but we have no time to do any of those things i feel like we we were robbed of our time together and i don't even know if we're able to make it hmm? these past few months have been the happiest of my life i'm sure we will make it but even if we don't i am glad we are with each other till the end and also We can still have our stuff here. Oh, and romantic dinner too. And this site right here isn't bad, I think. So, what random things do you want to talk about? Well, it's simple, really. Just act cute. Hug some kids and don't let straight dogs pee on you. That's all. Good luck. Um, okay. I can do this. I can do this. Congrats on your new job at the flower shop, Willow. <laughs> Lunch on me. Thanks, Luz. I wonder how's Hunter's job hunting going? Hmm. <laughs> Pretty sure he'll get fired on his first day of work. I mean, he'd been a soldier for his whole life. He probably has trouble adjusting to everything, let alone a new job. Come on, cut him some slack. He's a smart guy. He's eager to learn. He's been reading a lot of books of the human realm. He's brave. He can own up to his mistakes. Yeah, I think he can handle the job just fine. <laughs> He's caring too. He just can't stop acting like a big brother to Gus. <laughs> He's so sweet. Are we still talking about Hunter's job or... <laughs> oh, sorry. I digress. I, uh... Hmm? Um, <laughs> uh, what's happening? Oh, Huggy the Robin likes you! Oh. Um, you know, I always envy shapeshifters. Hmm? You can like switch between good looking faces whenever you want. I guess you're right. I'll do just that. Miserable. I'm much happier here. So just leave me alone, okay? <laughs> happier? Are you sure? Here, they managed to cure my dad. Then, Mama decided to homeschool me so I wouldn't get bullied again. I even won first place in a fantasy writing contest, so yeah, I'm pretty sure. I know, but please don't say it isn't real. It's real enough for me. No, I mean, reality isn't always rainbow sunshine. Anything can be taken from us all of a sudden, but we can always cherish what we still have. Life is full of mistakes we make, sure. But that's what makes us improve and keep trying to make things right. Even if we feel like we aren't worthy of being loved. Give it time, we'll find someone who can prove us otherwise. You don't need everything to fall into place to be happy. 
You can make the best out of ups and downs in life. And I can show you how. <laughs> I'm going to miss him. Yeah. We will. Wait, what are you doing, human? You were supposed to find happiness. That's where you're wrong, Collector. <sighs> she already did. Mama! Huh? I found this on the bookshelf. Huh? <laughs> Can I read it? Oh, that brings me back. What do you mean? Your mom and I used to love this series of books. Hmm? Too bad it ended before its time. Really? Are oh, you sad there's no more books? Yeah, but... Nothing lasts forever after all. Hmm... All we can do is treasure the memories and keep moving forward. Sometimes, we just learn how to let go, you know? Hmm. Alright, let me read you the first chapter. Hey, do you hear that? Huh? Liz! They just announced a new Azura movie and two spin-offs! No way! Yes, boy! Hooray! This is the best thing ever! Am I dreaming? Pain dream. Okay, stand still. Dad! Huh? Uh, why didn't you tell me? Oh no. Um, said you made a Cinder account? Look at this! You can't be serious! Cinder, Aldor, 46. I sell abominations and abomination accessories. Mittens, I, 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 it's been months and I, I just wanted to find someone who... No! I mean... Huh? Not with this outfit! <sighs> this calls for a makeover. What what the heck is a slander? I've gotta see this. Aldor, 46. Part is as soft as abomination goo. Huh? <sighs> Here you go. I put you in Bella's shoes. Think you're gonna do a better job than he did? Well, actually, yeah, I'm going to. Legalize wild magic and lift all restrictions on multitask. Reach out to the human realm and maintain peace between two species. Treat Hunter with care and respect. <laughs> huh? Form an elected parliament and step down as a monarch. Turn myself in for the crimes I've committed. Knit sweaters for orphanages while serving the time. When I said shoes, I didn't mean goody two shoes. Well, well, well. Loser human, you think you can get rid of me? Not if I crush your soul first. I'll take away all your friends. I'll make your life a living nightmare. And you will suffer everything. 
every second of your remaining. Huh? Why do I feel uneasy all of a sudden? <gasps> Mia has been through a lot. She has just started to recover. Leave her alone. And let us talk it out. Do I make myself clear? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then, nothing bad happens in watching and dreaming. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, good to see fans were outside of the target demographic. Your books changed your lives, Miss Featherwild. <laughs> In fact, all thanks to Azura, I found the love of my life who... Okay, don't tell anyone, but... She's a witch from another realm. <laughs> She's also a big fan of yours and... Oh, a fellow witch from Vi! What? <laughs> I am too a witch, silly. I moved to the human realm after Bella's band wild magic. You were a witch this whole time? Wait, how did you come here? <laughs> Using my own portal door, of course. You had a portal door this whole time? Yeah, I dug it up in some carver's backyard, along with a research paper written by some Philip guy called How to Befriend a Collector in Five Simple Steps. Huh. You had the solution to all our problems this whole time? Lose, breathe. Amity! No! Don't come in! I brought you cold medicine! Oh, okay. Just put it down somewhere. Hmm? <laughs> no, don't come too close. Amity? Don't worry, you're not gonna infect me. I. No, it's just... <laughs> what? <sighs> I just don't want you to see me like this. It's so embarrassing. Aww, Amity. Well, if it makes you feel better, one time I got to be an MC for a school event. I forgot my cue cards. <laughs> Having no idea what to say, I awkwardly sang the Good Witch Azura theme song for two minutes. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. I was booed off stage. <laughs> Okay, maybe it was embarrassing, but I adore your embarrassing side, too. Well, same here. Aww. <laughs> so, I don't want to doing. Oh my gosh, it's so cringe. Ugh. Get up the stage! <laughs> she doesn't even go here! Would you look at that nigga? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. No, I haven't decided yet. Mm -hmm. On one hand, Mrs. Nasida has been taking care of me for months. It's basically my home now. 
So it'd be cool to have her as my legal guardian. I mean, you and I are engaged. Oh my gosh. Hey, congrats. Thanks, dude. <laughs> no, 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 not dude. Huh? Brother in law. Huh? Jeez. Having one annoying brother is enough already. On the other hand, seriously wanted to take me under his wing, so... Hey, Mittens, I have some news. Hmm? Darius and I are getting married. That's great. Uh, and this is your stepbrother. Ha! <gasps> <coughs> Emily, are you okay? Hmm? 